Yeah, it's possible that uh, you know the the aliens are not far from us and they're listening and and they respond to whatever happens on Earth. We would not. We were not careful. Uh, we were transmitting signals uh, throughout the last century, uh, and uh, the question is: uh, Is someone listening? And um, it, it's possible that the, uh, we would get a visit uh, once we pose a threat to a neighbor uh, that we are not aware of. And so, it would have been wiser for us uh, to be more careful in transmitting signals. But you know, the cat is already out of the bag, and uh, as of now, we just need to monitor. Uh, objects that enter the solar system to make sure that all of them are rocks and and uh, nine, none of them is a tennis ball that was thrown by a neighbor. Well, a lot of questions about the, these uh, three Yadlas. I would like to ask you about the, the NASA. Is it true, is true that uh, the NASA has hidden uh, the best photo of this, of this comet, of, of these uh, three Yadlas, the best photograph? The highest resolution images uh, that were obtained of 3A Atlas they were taken on uh, October 2nd and 3rd uh, by the high-rise camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Uh, we haven't seen those uh, uh, images, uh, and that's quite unfortunate because they have a resolution of 30 kilometers per pixel, uh, on the, so we can, in principle, see uh, the vicinity of the object and infer how big it is. Uh, it's also a side view of the object for the first time that could give us a lot of information about the uh, material coming out of it. So this data is very precious and it's time sensitive because when we analyze this data, we can infer what kind of future observations we want to take. Uh, but unfortunately, NASA did not release this data because of the government shutdown that started on October 1st. And uh, uh, I just... Um, think that scientific data should not be held hostage to uh, politics uh, and um, it doesn't take much effort to actually share the data with other scientists. Um, Representative Anna Paulina Luna sent a, a letter on Friday just a few days ago to the uh, acting administrator of NASA asking that the, the data would be released. Uh, I uh, contacted the principal investigator of the high-rise camera, and I didn't get a response uh, to my emails. So uh, this is unfortunate because the uh, acting administrator of NASA did respond to Kim Kardashian uh, on the same day that the Representative Luna sent her letter. Um, uh, Kardashian was curious about the 3 i Atlas and asked uh, for more details about it. And uh, Sean Duffy, the administrator of NASA, uh, responded immediately and explained that there is uh, nothing to worry about, no risk to Earth, and he explained to her what 3 Atlas is. So apparently, uh, he was much more willing to respond uh, to Kim Kardashian than to a request from Congress. Uh, and uh, a scientist, the scientific community that really wants to analyze this data, and uh, I hope the data will be released very soon. Worrying for for this uh, data, worrying for uh, for the NASA. <coughs> I would like to ask you about uh, the 19th of December. We were talking uh, about uh, his pass uh, for the for the land. Uh, when will this comet pass by, and does it pose any danger to, to the Earth? There is no danger to Earth if it continues along the path that uh, we are expecting it to go through. Uh, as long as it doesn't maneuver and uh, start to approach us, or as long as it doesn't release any mini probes that approach the Earth, uh, we should be completely safe. Uh, the, the closest it gets to Earth is uh, about 250 million kilometers, according to uh, the predicted trajectory. Uh, that's not very close. We shouldn't worry about uh, any impact on Earth. Uh, in fact, it was avoiding Earth uh, even when it came closest to the Sun. It was on the opposite side of the Sun relative to Earth. Um, so um, the, the key point about the 19th of December when it gets closest to Earth is that uh, this would be the best time to observe it. And there are hundreds of observatories around Earth that uh, could look at it. In fact, there is a campaign that is organized by the International Asteroid Warning Network 
uh, that decided to coordinate these uh, observations between the 27th of November and the 27th of January. And this is an organization that is uh, uh, embraced by the uh, United Nations. I'm very happy that they initiated this campaign because I sent also a white paper to the United Nations uh, a few weeks earlier, encouraging them to do just that. Uh, the best way for us to learn about the nature of uh, Three Eye Atlas is by collecting as much data as possible. If we assume that we know the answer in advance, uh, the way that uh, some uh, scientists pretend, uh, then unfortunately, uh, you know, we might not be eager to collect the data and that's the worst we can do.